Now, we got one more run, then we'll be checking out Eldest Souls, a pixel art boss rush game. A little bit like Titan Souls meets Dark Souls. Should be a fun time, but first... Who will we be on this run? Eve Delirium, we randomize. Regular Lilith Delirium, okay. You know, in a way, it's it's still it's harder to be honest, but in a way, uh, it's the best time for it because we just practiced. So, start prediction. There you go. Lots of deliriums. <laughs> reroll? No. The only time I will ever reroll is if I get a tainted cane on a zero streak. Then I can just stop the recording, delete the video, and then start another video and be like, okay, we're clicking the randomizer for the first time ever. Not that this ever happened today. Um, regular Lilith to Delirium. Here we go. Start him up. I'm not going to put any sauce on the bet here. Dude, I don't know. Spider butt... Spider butt kind of good. But I am a I'm a fan of uh of buddy in a box if we have to do long boss fights like Hush for example. So I'm I'm kind of okay with this. This is a 56 say yes, 44 say no. I would say this is pretty like uh apt by the way. The odds are worse on this one, or like the, the odds of me winning are, are considered worse by the the betting market than they were on the last one, which seems fair to me. I think Lilith is a little harder than, uh, than Eve. We got huge value out of that, uh, out of that spider butt, by the way, as you can tell. <laughs> We gotta try. Take these first just in case, and then- Oh! Tears up, speed down. Doesn't bother me. My longest yeah boy ever. That's not bad. Speed down, tears up, luck up. Acceptable trade. Makes up for the first item room being a little stinky. And honestly, 0.88 speed is okay. You get down to like the under 0.8, things get a little bit nasty, but... 0.88 is not so bad. What's the path on this one? The path on this one is uh, to delirium again. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Real nice. Placebo. Okay. Um, we don't want, unless maybe on our shop. Three luck already. Maybe on our shop. There is a, a pill we've already seen. We'll see. We'll see. How far are you in the David Graeber books? Uh, honestly, I... It, it's your... Okay, hold on. Let me think about this for a second. Because um, Red Stew is beautiful. Um, but, I feel like, as bizarre as it may sound, um, Sharp Plug, which I normally freaking hate, kinda seems a little sick for long fights, which we're gonna have to do on this run. But I also feel like anytime I try to build an Isaac run, like it's Slay the Spire, and like, oh, we gotta build like in this way for this specific boss, I always end up regretting it and being like, what you actually should do is just uh, get the best item available. Sharp Plug is, is good now? Okay, hold on. Well then, let's think about it. One half heart charges one slot of your active item when pressing space. You know what we do? I would love to take both, but let's see. Not gonna happen. Um, honestly, you're gonna laugh. I think you I think you take this. That's five pills. 
It also triggers KMB in Conception. Hoo! That did not seem like a half heart. Can I can I simply say? That did not seem like a half heart. And it what it's Oh it I see. On two char it, it takes as many There's one little piece of intel that's very valuable that they didn't tell us about, which is, it takes as much as it, it, it charges to max every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we pop Temperance in here and just go freaking loco. Luck up, shot speed down, health up. Power pill, health up. Oh, doubters. Doubters! Come out and play! Oh, and they're pretty much everywhere. Oh, it's gonna be hot. Pretty much everywhere is gonna be hot. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> now that we got enough HP, we're charging this thing up like a son of a gun, man. Like, look at that. Okay, you buy Hey, you ready? Hey, you don't run out of the uh, Cambian Conception juice or nothing. We get two charges here. We use half a heart, create another charge. Oh, man. Potion. Yeah, potion. Sorry, not juice. Potions. Two, two different things. Yeah, 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 You go... F. That, oh, that hurt pretty bad, actually. That's, that's pretty nasty. All right, well, let's, let's chill out a little bit. Maybe, perhaps I was too harsh. Well, they, whoa, 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 look at this though, we got the twins. Twisted pair. I don't know, I don't know who to be sad for, the, the doubters or the believers, but... I think the doubters, I, I think it's still the doubters. Ooh. Is there anything to kill here? No, we just, we just walk, okay. Twins, Basil. Oh, dude, it's pretty, it's pretty good. This is pretty good. Did you get a charge? Yeah, 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 hey, 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 I gotta make the hush fight. This isn't funny. You get a charge and then you go, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, just be careful. You know, hey, let's not get too greedy here. We're playing some, you are playing Gradius, you're not wrong. Okay, what am, what am I thinking? I'm thinking we definitely wish, oh my, to not take this devil deal. I think, because I think we want to preserve our HP. We want to make sure we keep our red hearts, so we go angel deals some good familiars in that angel deal pool as well okay you scared me i didn't think you could sneak through there i'm just gonna level with you i didn't think you could sneak through plus we'll get as many devil deal familiars as we want from uh succubus any or from uh Cambian conception anyway you know, maybe just a simple mm, one of those. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go to the item room. Believers, come on, just just chill. You're in good hands right now. I could really use a speed upgrade, but you're you're in good hands. I will become back my money. I know, I know what you're thinking. It's not the play, though. I wish it were, but it's not. Oh, but there could be a red heart in there. One hundred percent chance for one bomb went on basement one and killed the boss in under one minute. <laughs> one cube of meat ain't bad. Yeah, but that's the scooper, man. That's not you. You got to confuse with the peeler. You got to work on your your kitchen utensil trivia. It's two diff very different items there. There you go. Then, secret room. 
beautiful. Oh, <laughs> this is not that slow. You're you're uh, you're being a, a a doubter hater right now. I honestly I can understand because you're watching your points disappear. I can understand why you would be upset with that. You know, it, on the bright side, you got about forty five minutes. I would say to get uh, adjusted to the fact that you're about to lose a bunch of points. You know, if if you bet on doubt. It's it's all going down. I I feel for you, but at the same time, I don't at all. When you bet on doubt, you reap what you sow. Seven minutes fifty seconds, crushing it, man, crushing it. Anyway, we probably don't have a whole lot. Uh, what the what the. I didn't even see it. Probably don't have a whole lot of Isaac-related banter coming. But I don't have anything else. Did I already talk about the Netflix show with the tattoos? I did, yeah. I thought so. I thought I talked about that for like half an hour. NL, when you tore your meniscus, was it when you were running or when you were cycling? I'm starting the run. Any tips? So, I'll, I'll tell you, like... I, I I tore my meniscus running. Um, this was in 2014. It was a long time ago, and I never got diagnosed. But like, I from using WebMD, I was like, my leg was in a staggering amount of pain. It seemed like a torn meniscus, but it's fine now. Why didn't you just you take advantage of your free healthcare? I don't know, because I was young and stupid. Um, Here's what I would say. So I was doing great with uh, running, right? I was in a great habit uh, of running. I was I was running five times a week, doing like you know. By the time I got to the end of it, I was doing like 10k per run. It was great. I was having a wonderful time. Um, then people told me because I was running on a treadmill, right? And everyone was like, treadmill, lol, I hate running on a treadmill, it's so boring. If you try running outside, you'll love uh, running outside, it's so much better. Treadmill's so boring, I want to sleep. But if you run outside, you get the, it's like you're going on a little adventure, okay? So then I started running outside. I live in Vancouver, which is, uh, you know, the weather's nice. There's lots of, uh, you know, great areas to go for runs and stuff like that. Um, so I started running along some of the beaches in Vancouver. And uh, it was like run three on the beach, tore my meniscus stepping on, I think like just some sand or something like that. Like the sand going up and down and having like a different consistency, just kind of like screwed me up. You're going, you know, pavement, beach, dirt, pavement, beach. And I think it, ju I think it just, uh, that was all it took, honestly. So, my advice is not to run inside, necessarily. My advice, actually, uh, is whatever is working for you, stick with it. Be very averse to change if what you have is presently serving you well. <laughs> the end. We do. We have a second incubus now. You're not wrong. I gotta. I gotta farm up a little HP here. So that's uh, that's my advice to you. Also, as other people have said, like I saw in chat, it's it's ironic, I guess. But like, if you're starting running as like a habit, the best thing for your long-term success, in my experience, is to start slow. Love it. So rather than be like, oh, I feel like, like set a plan for running, maybe like do couch to 5k or something like that, or, or bridge to 10k if you're a little bit more advanced, if you got like a, a some experience in it. Some days you'll be doing your run and you'll be like, I could totally like go five minutes extra today. Just put that in the bank. Just stop when it tells you to stop. If you if you don't get impatient, you're not gonna your your risk of injury is like so low. All you gotta do is uh, 
is just do what the plan says. You know, you get a little bit stronger every day. And then before you know, like I, I went from, I started couch to 5k. I'm not going to take Mama Mega, by the way. I started couch to 5k from being like a relative couch potato, I would say. Um, and within, I don't know, like four weeks or something like that, I was up to 5k. Maybe maybe six weeks. I, I didn't take my own advice, by the way. I, I was like, I feel good today. Let's push it, which probably is... Uh, Part of my personality and why I ended up uh, tearing my meniscus or getting tendonitis or whatever. Um, but after that, like you might think it's gonna take forever, but it, it's really quick. Like I started running in April 2014, and like by June, I could run 10k. I was a little younger back then, to be fair. And then like by the time we got to like July, August, like 10k was like it was it was meditative and like pleasant. So. It, it only takes a, a, a few months to get to the point where you're in a, uh, where, where you're in a great habit. I want to get back into running. I think I'd probably cycle, though, because, uh, I mean, it's just more fun. <laughs> I do understand, like, despite what I just said about the treadmill stuff, like, uh, I'm, like, the exact opposite with biking. Like, I, en I enjoy running on a treadmill. Well, I, I enjoyed it once I got into it. I enjoy cycling outside. Exercise bike? I hate it, man. Like, for whatever reason, I just like... It feels like... I, all I feel is like the strain in my in my muscles. Then when I'm outside, I'm like, ooh, nice... Uh, wow, beautiful weather. Whoa, is that a new gelato place? And yeah, the seat, something about the seat not moving. Like, I feel like it just absolutely shreds my sit bones, but... I thank you. The seat kills. Anyway. I gotta get back into working out, but we're not... We're, we're getting close, but we're not quite at, like, that level of baby autonomy yet, but it's... It's getting close. Kate's moving from a four-day-a-week stream schedule to a five-day-a-week stream schedule. I'm also... Will you get back into lifting? No, I don't think so. In fact, like, I... Admittedly, like, 2019 to early 2020 uh, was, like, the best shape I've ever been in in my life. But now that I have a child, I'm like... Why, in, instead of trying to, like, get a 450-pound squat as a guy who is, like, a YouTuber, why didn't I just, uh, jog? Then I could have gone to the into the pandemic being, like, you know, 170 pounds and lean instead of, like, 205 pounds trying to build, like, a strongman body to lift heavy stones in Iceland or something. Would have served. Yeah, it was fun. Don't get me wrong, but it would have served me a lot better. I think if I had, if I had been like, I mean, if I had known that the pandemic was gonna come, I might have tilted things in a little bit. But I guess that's the that's the thing is you. Did, well, I didn't know it was coming anyway. If you did, why why were you saying anything? So now I'm like, I just want to, I mean, it's a long way away, don't get me wrong, but I'm like, I got to become one of those, like, 50-year-old guys that's like, uh, like, I don't want to even do, like, an Iron Man or anything like that. I mean, that's so far into the future, it would be hilarious. I just want to be one of those old guys who's like, yeah, I jog every morning. I would, I could settle for that. Dude, where's my angel deal, Denny? Where's my angel deal, Denny? I think we gotta go a little faster. We'll, we'll take our planetarium chance. Believer sweating? Nah, 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 nah. You know, all you need to be, like, to be a believer right now, you just need to remember, red hearts equal damage for us. Which is not technically true, but, like, when, once you filter it through the sharp plug... Um, box of friends setup we got going on here. Anytime you see like a half red heart, you should be like, he's got a good chance. 
baby bender, you know, that would help out. I don't even friendship necklace could be fun. Like we got a we got a lot of potentially pretty good stuff here. I think this is a great run, quite frankly. And now have you seen Luca? Isn't Lu Luca Luca Doncic? Doncic? I don't watch basketball. Luca? For a dollar, name a Luca? Wow, what a rip, man. It's a pig. Oh, the Pixar movie! Why didn't you say so? Uh, no, I have it. <laughs> I, I may. I'm kind of. I'm. I'm not watching kids movies now because I have the sneaking suspicion that it will like become my life, right? Broken modem. I'm I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. What card did I drop? It was Hangman or something? I don't know. Clock is a piece. So true. We are like we're we're going as fast as like I feel compelled to. By the way, <laughs> I I think we're we're operating at an appropriate speed right now. Let's put it that way. Taking advantage of stuff like this. I haven't watched uh, Fear Street either, but uh, it is also on my list. Hold on. I know this. Oh, we don't need to pause anymore. Using an active item rerolls it. Absolutely not. Are you insane? Our time is okay for... Um, I mean, by the way, keep in mind for the record, like, you're watching this, you're like, he's going so slow. I don't, I don't mean to be a hater. I personally guarantee I'm probably like five minutes ahead of where you'd be at on this run if you were even still alive at this point, which would be doubtful. So I'm not sweating that. You just, you know, you just got to relax. It's a luck up pill. Look at that. We're in good hands. Rude, but accurate. Look, if you're in here asking my opinions on sandwiches and like, hey, in six months, I'm going to be going to like a Buffalo Wild Wings. What sauce should I get? You just strike me as not having the degree of decisiveness required to go super fast in an Isaac run. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, okay? I'm just... Plus, I've never been to a Buffalo Wild Wings, so I don't have an answer for you to begin with. I would love to see some red hearts dropping. Reroll the smelter. Hey, that's actually, that's an interesting idea. I didn't even think about picking up the trinket, going back, using it on the smelter to reroll it. I, I don't think, now this is going to be humorous again. I don't think we have time for that, but it is, it's an interesting idea. I think if we had more, if we had more time, that's, that's a good way to play that. Rather than look at that as like rerolls your existing item, I think I should look at it as... Any spacebar items you don't want get turned into something else. Help me? Oh, does the trinket, it sticks with you? Couldn't you just drop it before Box of Friends? It, it works for everything but Smelter. Oh, because you smelled the trinket, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know, this is a good point. I forgot Trinket Smelter also has uh, an effect. It is slow, but we're getting a deal with the Angel. Tears Upgrade is, is mighty nice. Dead Sea Scrolls is an absolute piece of crap. Um, just like one Spirit Heart would really hit the spot here, man. Okay, but you know what? You give me a spirit heart, I say thank you. We, we, this is going to take us some extra time, but it's a, it's a bet hedger. As a result of this, we, we now have a 50% chance in the future to, if we fight Mega Satan, then the chance to get Delirium. Thank you so much. And then, one of these. I, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to tell you as well, I'm kind of just like simmering, kind of just waiting for uh, the opportunity to maybe get a damage upgrade to an extreme degree. 
from uh, Cambium Conception. Hasn't happened yet, but that's okay. Red Hearts, just a single uh, Queen of Hearts or something like that. The, the Doubters have a genuine... They got a chance now. Look at this. Still 0.88 speed, too. That's what we're talking about right there. Yes, sir. Fate, pretty, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Now, learn from your mistakes. And... You know what? Leave those for a second. Learn from your mistakes. Don't use all your red hearts immediately. Wait till you get to like two charges. Spend half a red heart to make it pop. Bum friend. I, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, if, we're, if you're a doubter, we're not going to lose, but we might fail the conditions. <laughs> That's definitely... It's still in the, in the cards for us. We might not even be able to guarantee another angel deal, so... You know, it's, uh, it's tough. What's the item room intel? Um, it was bum friend. Pick, picks up things that you want and annoys the crap out of you. That's, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. I would say at this point, the... Sure. The most likely way out of this situation is honestly Angel Deals, man. Angel Deals beat Mega Satan, 50% chance to beat Delirium. Wouldn't wouldn't mind getting like all my familiars to shoot in the same direction. Fool card, we care not. We care not. <laughs> oh, what the? Um, so I'm going to do it because I don't care. Let's do it. It'll be fun. Yeah, that uh, it seems like it was for the best. Even though we lost twins, we got double brim. Our damage is still so bad, though. <laughs> Look at our damage, man. 3.5 damage? Yeah, I have. I've gotten super bummed like once or twice in my life before. Oh, you, you got a single twin. How about that? I screwed this up, by the way, but that's okay. By all accounts, like, we should be fine. It's just annoying. Unidentified pill. It's nice, although a little resinous, to be able to know what that pill is before we go in there, huh? Before we buy it. I'm probably gonna buy Poke Go. I just. Perfect. Perfect timing. Okay, we're gonna have like six minutes to get through the womb. That's never been a problem for me. <laughs> Just disgusting and, and barely makes any sense. Um, we're, not, we're definitely not making boss rush. It's a lot of brimstone beams, though. And we can take the negative. Why not? Didn't get a deal. That means we got a great deal chance on the next floor. Okay, take it down. Take it down. NL, is this game worth $500? Um, no. It's really good. But I think you gotta, you know, think about how you feel about the word worth. I don't think it's worth $500. And my reasoning for that is because you can get it for, like, you know, less than 30 I think. So I, I would say it's, it's worth what it costs, you know, on Steam. So $500, I would say no. It's I mean, I've gotten $500 worth of value out of this. Is it worth that? It's, oh well, yeah, right, we have uh, we can fly. The heart play. Um, I wouldn't make that argument, no. Got 
the key play. The hard play, the key play. How much would you have spent on microtransactions if there were skins? Honestly, I, again, this is why like I'm probably not qualified to talk about like the uh, harmful aspects of predatory monetization models. Because I really don't... Um, I don't care. Like, I, I don't really buy them. I don't mind, you know, throwing in five bucks for, or ten bucks for, like, a battle pass or something. Just to... So I feel like in some ways that almost, like, it makes me enjoy the game that much more to have, like, a, a more structured kind of series of goals and rewards when I play it. It maybe improves, like, my cohesion when I play the game. Or my adherence, I should say. Which can be enjoyable and... and bring some value but when it comes to like transactions and stuff like that for uh for for skins i just i do not care i'll do shot speed up range down uh just completely useless <laughs> we gotta put a little extra sauce i see that we got a demon baby Twenty-four thirty. So what would feel really nice here is if we got an angel deal. An angel deal would really hit the spot. Cause then even if we missed hush, there would still be some some copium on display. If we don't get a an angel deal will be highly prioritizing a strategy I like to call go fast. I still think we'll make it. In in all sincerity, I think 25 minutes on womb one is totally fine. The floors are getting bigger, but we're getting stronger. Most amount of money you've ever spent on microtransactions in a game. It's probably in CSGO. Like, oh, I don't know why we didn't get hit there. Oh, was that our Poke Go that was shooting for us? I think it was. Um, yeah, like in CSGO, I never got into like the, the casino aspect of it. I think I was like a little too old to begin with to, uh, I don't know, be fooled. But I did buy some cases. I did buy some keys. Huge floor, dude. But I honestly, like, that was a good... Uh, it was like a learning lesson. Like, from that point onwards, I've never really felt compelled. Anytime... I, I mean, again, this is like... It's too forehead, I'll admit. Like, I don't know if everybody possesses, like, the same ability to, you know, st like, stop themselves like this. But, um... This seems to be going pretty well, by the way. But, uh... Like, when I was playing NHL, and I, like, found myself being like, oh, man, I could spend, like, 20 hours doing this uh, to try to, like, get a 90 overall Ray Ferraro, or I could just play, pay, like, 30 bucks and maybe get, like, a Gretzky or something like that. That was my indicator that it was, like, I'm going to stop playing this game because it's obviously been engineered not to uh, be fun. But instead, to uh, to steal my money, basically. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Twenty six forty five. That was pretty solid. Does it not reset each floor? Uh, no, because, well, I mean, like, the amount of familiars, yes, it resets each room, but the, uh, we have Cambian Conception, so every time we take, like, 20 damage or something like that, we end up creating, uh, another familiar. Which is very good for us. Power pill, short invincibility effect. Have you ever been to a casino? I have, I, I, I would say I've been to a casino a few times. The first time I went to a casino, um, my friends and I were in college and we were inspired by that classic story of like MIT students going to Las Vegas and counting cards at the blackjack table. And we thought, hey, 
maybe we're smart. We can do that. Um, so we learned how to count cards, which is really not sinister at all. It's literally just like when there's, if I remember correctly, when the, when you get like a, a 10 on the board in open information, you just like increase your count. And when you get a lower card, you decrease your count or something like that. And then you use your count to determine the way that you'll bet on, you know, a subsequent hand. Um, but we got there, had a couple of beers, and then just decided to have fun playing blackjack is basically what it came down to. <laughs> I'm just gonna power pill and I'm gonna try to do some some sack dagger action here. Um apart from that, like one time I, I went to a casino in my hometown with Kate. We took the shuttle bus uh from my hometown to Gananoque, which is where the casino is. There was a staggering amount of traffic on the 401, which is like, you know, Ontario's busiest highway. Excuse me. And, uh, by the time we got there, they were like, hey, in order to make it back before the bus company closes, we have to leave, like, right now. So we got there, I ordered, like, a chicken sandwich at the restaurant, and then we immediately left again. Um... I, I've been to the casino a couple times in Las Vegas. I've I've played a little on roulette tables and slot machines, but to be honestly, I I just or to be honest, I just don't really like. Um, oh yeah, no, Kate, okay, you're right. There was one time in Montreal, um, or sorry, in Niagara Falls. Me and a bunch of my friends went to the casino, and we decided to sign up for the players card. I'm gonna go low high on this one, by the way. Oh. <laughs> Okay, um, well, what a waste, um, give me one of those, should be okay, anyway, we went to the casino, I decided to sign up for the players club, because it gives you like 10 free dollars or something like that, um, by the time, you know, 10 minutes later, I had finished signing up for the Players Club, one of my friends had lost, like, $250 at the roulette table and was like, I don't want to be here anymore, so we just left. And that was that. <laughs> I just, I, I, I feel lucky, honestly. Like, I just, I, I feel lucky that I just don't enjoy... I mean... The experience of gambling is one thing. Like, I think the games can be fun. But I, I've, like most people, I think, I feel so much more pain from a loss than from an equivalent gain that it, it, it sours the whole experience for me. Like, I like gambling mechanics in games, for sure. But in real life, I do not enjoy it. And some of them just, ups like, not upset me, but, like, I, I don't know. This is, like, very judgmental, but they kind of, like, sadden me. Like, a, a slot machine is literally a machine that just takes your money. <laughs> and, like, I don't know, I almost feel like there's a... Like, the more you know about stats is, like, the, the less you'd be interested in playing a slot machine. Because you also realize, like... You can get lucky and be, you know, go ahead on a, a slot machine. Uh, but the longer you play, the more likely you are to go to zero, right? Or not to zero, but to, to be, you know... Well, yes, to zero. Because to, every, every amount of money that you put in actually returns less necessarily than than you originally placed in in the first place on average not not per bet obviously but if you find it fun then then so be it you know many people have uh you know things that are not good for them that they enjoy Oh, Broken Modem has always been, uh... Well, since Repentance, Broken Modem has been this good. It's, it's pogging, man. I work in the gambling industry, keep gambling. 
Hey, look, I, I honestly don't have, and this is not even related to the Twitch stuff, I don't have a problem with the gambling industry necessarily. As long as, you know, people understand the stats before they get involved, then I'm like, it doesn't bother me. I, but I do think, you know... I mean, it's basically... I, 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 for me, I, I don't think there's anything that, like, inspires as much, like, melancholy as, like, walking into a Las Vegas casino and, like, watching a bunch of retirees pump their life savings into, like, a Terminator 2 slot machine. It's a good hush fight. Or like crap in your pants at the slot machine <laughs> because you don't want to leave but that's also like how you know that like it's a psychological thing right other like no rational person would be like oh you know what i'm gonna do today is crap my pants so i don't have to take 10 minutes away from uh this machine Okay. We should honestly do really well against Delirium. Not being able to see HP sucks pretty bad. Hello. My wife has entered with a very uh, sour look on her face. Here or there? Really? Oh wow! Wow. Okay, well, it's not, it wasn't me. I'll, I'll, I'll figure out what needs to get done there. People drinking too, too many dang white claws, throwing up on the common property. I am, uh, I'm, I'm scared about the fact. Wait, was. It <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's inside, if it's outside. We'll we'll figure it out. I I can't tell if there was a situation there where she's telling me that one of the cats threw up in front of our door, or if she's saying that there was a situation where a bad actor threw up or crapped in front of our house. That I, I don't know. Either way, that's that's part of the like the rub of being a you know a, a, a homeowner to some extent. You know, I'm not complaining. It's kind of a sick deal, but like every once in a while, you'll just like wake up in the morning and there'll be like a bunch of like garbage, <laughs> you know, like right in front of your house, and you're like, all right. Love the hustle and bustle of the big city. The urban lifestyle, you know, people will just, you know, get some Tim Hortons, and then when they're done with the cup, they're like, "Fuck you, you fucking sleaze bag homeowners, dickheads, yoink!" It takes some garbage. Seems seems pretty uh, seems pretty fair. Dickhead. Well, maybe if you stop spending all your money on Tim Hortons, we could be neighbors. I mean, what, those coffees are like 92 cents each. Hey, hey, hey! Pop up. Get back here. You're not an intellectual. Yoink. One million skipped coffees later. <laughs> One million skipped coffees later. It's been a minute since you've been to Tim's, huh? I, I can't recall. I, I will, um, like, go well out of... I'm very not picky when it comes to food. Like, if, if there was a Burger King, which I do not really like, and then, like, three blocks away there was a Wendy's, I would probably just go to the Burger King. Let's go, by the way. I would be like, you know what? It is what it is. Little, little Brim popped out of that, too. 
Um, if it's delirium, it's delirium. I'm, I think it's is a perfect opportunity for this. We're not doing very much damage, though. I have noticed that. I think we can do this and this. This worked well for us on the Hush fight. Presumably, I was just going to say, there is a, uh, a boss somewhere that takes damage. There is a boss that exists on this map. There we go. Um... I can't believe after getting a speed down in our first experimental pill, in like the third room, we never got a single speed up over the rest of the run. That's rare. It is Snake RX. But anyway, uh, Tim Hortons is like the exception. I would, uh, if I had to walk like 10 minutes out of my way to get a, a different restaurant option than Tim Hortons, I would. Oh, bugged, bugged, bugged. I, I, I hate like just about everything about Tim Hortons that you could imagine. I, the food is bad. The coffee, uh, is not good. And then the endless marketing of like fake, like we we represent Canadian values while simultaneously like lobbying to undermine paying their employees a living wage. Uh, and also, you know, no longer even being a Canadian company, but still having the audacity to be like, Hey, look at this, remember? Hockey, 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 hockey. A farmer drinking a cup of coffee uh, as the sun rises in the background. Like, you know, I, 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 I despise the, the, the corporation and, and the products they make. I, I, I do not like them. And the, I mean, the ads, velvety, 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 velvety smooth. Cold brew, creamy and smooth. How could I live without you? Nightman, sneaky and mean. Cold brew inside of my dreams, I think I love you. You make me wanna cry, you make me wanna die. <laughs> I love you, I love you, I love you, Tim Hortons cold brew. Every night, every morning I go to the Timmy's and I get you. Yeah, you get the... Yeah, you get it. Anyway. So, yeah. I, I have been to a Tim Hortons. Um, you know, probably, like, within the last six years. I remember we went to the ER once. And, like, the only restaurant that was open after we got out was a Tim Hortons. I believe I had, like, a... A steak panini, which and and a side, because they at the time they were still trying to figure out what they do for sides, and they were like, um, yeah, it's like a steak sandwich, and here's some kettle cooked potato chips alongside it, and I was like, this sucks. I w I would not eat there willingly, given an option. I would I would eat uh, I would eat there willingly if I didn't have an option. I would you know no food is still worse than food in most circumstances, but... I think we're gonna win. I don't think we've taken a catastrophic amount of damage here. I mean, the fight is over, apparently, based on the music. Oh, there it goes again. Yeah, no, I'm not talking about french fries. I mean, they're literal, like, potato chips. Crisps. They they need to do something about this. Like, <laughs> it's just... It's so bad. <laughs> oh, man. I know they're not, but it's, it's so funny. All right. Dude, the believers! Yet again, 9.1 million points going to the, going to, the, or sorry, 7.1 million points going to the believers. Look at that. Two hush, two delirium. Paid out. Choose outcome. 